What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about today's basketball game. You had the LSU Tigers losing to the Alabama Crimson Tide, 82 to 88, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Uh, come give me a follow on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come holler at your boy, yo. Um, and hit the like button for your boy if you don't mind, man. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, this team here, man. You know, I know this team has hard. I get it. I know no matter how much this team is behind, they're going to come back and fight and make it close. But at the same time, I know no matter how much this team is up, they're going to allow the other team, you know, to come back and make it close. But, bro, we got to do something about this three-point defense, man. I mean, every game that I watch, this team has to be one of the worst teams in college basketball at defending the three-pointers, man. You constantly get corner shots, wide open threes. And now, granted, unfortunately, the other teams could miss, but they decide to make them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this team has to be the if if one of the worst three point defense dense defensive teams in all of college basketball. Which is one of the reasons why, granted, we're gonna make the NCAA tournament. But it's one of the reasons why I feel like, depending on the matchup, yo, we could go one and done. If we play a team, our hope is to play a team that's not as as talented, not as athletic, and can't shoot the three at, as well. If we play a team, even if they're not as talented or not as athletic, but if we play a team that shoots the three ball very, very well, LSU is in trouble. LSU at this point cannot defend three-point shots, yo. And it is extremely, extremely frustrating to watch. Not to mention, I'm tired of Darius days with these stupid fouls, man. Like, Ken, at some point, he, he's, you're not going to steal the ball from nobody. Why are you constantly reaching in and getting these cheap, stupid fouls to where you got to go sit down for critical points of the game, yo? I just don't understand that with him. And he is a very talented player, yo. He can shoot the ball well. He rebounds. He finishes on the block. He brings a swagger and an energy to this team that sometimes seems lifeless. But he constantly is getting ridiculous fouls, yo. I am screaming at my television. Why do you do this to us every single game, yo? Every single game, you do this. You picked up your fourth foul with like 18 minutes or so left in the game, yo. <laughs> like, I don't get it with him, man. I do not get it. All this reaching, like he need a player playing defense with his hands behind his back, yo. Go for, just stay in front of your man, put your hands up, and go get a rebound. Stop reaching, bro. Like, please, can you stop reaching? We need you on the floor, yo. We don't have great shooting. With the exception of Skylar Mays, you know, and like besides Darius Days, is nobody out there that I'm comfortable with consistently hoisting up a three-pointer. Like Javante Smart can hit him sometimes, but he's not a, a, an efficient three-point shooter. Wofford and Emmett Williams, that's not their game. You know, like Marshall Graves could do it, but he don't really get much playing time because he don't really do much of any other stuff. Like, Darius Days and Skylar Mays are, to me, by far our two best three-point shooters. But when Darius Days is out of the game, you know, we, we, can't, we struggle to shoot the ball, bro. We struggle, we struggle to shoot from deep. And I don't know. He gives us a presence in rebounding. It's just I'm tired of him getting these cheap, stupid fouls, yo. It's, it happens every game, yo. And this team just for some reason cannot defend the three, yo. You know, shout out to Alabama on getting a win. It was a win that they needed because right now it's looking like they're not going to be in the NCAA tournament. So they need wins like this. And, uh, and shout out to that guy. Oh, I forget his name. The one with the cast on his hand. Shout out to him, yo. Um, playing with a broken wrist. Um, made two free throws where he had to shoot, hold the ball and shoot it like that. Um, had like, what, a career high in rebounds. Hey, shout out to him, yo. I like to see effort like that out of young men, yo. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I can't hate on that, man. Shout out to him. That was great effort and way to show toughness. And I think that wear it off on his team. 
But um, we cannot defend the three. Darius Days is constantly picking up stupid fouls. I mean, that's basically like, that's what happens, yo. And the one at the end when Marlon Taylor got the block and it bounced out to that dude, that was just pure bad luck. I ain't gonna lie. It was a great defensive play by Marlon Taylor, but it was, it was just bad luck. But through during the course of a basketball game, this team cannot, the, Vanderbilt lit us up from three. Auburn lit us up from three late. Alabama lit us up from three today. Missouri lit us up from three in the first half. Like the last few games, this team really has struggled to defend the three-pointer. And Will, we ain't gonna have to do something about it, yo. I know Charles, it was good to see Charles Manning back out there today getting a few minutes. He may need to start playing a little more because I know he at least is a good defender. We got to do something, yo. We got to do something and we got to do something in a hurry. Um, if we still want a chance to compete, you know, for this SEC regular season. Um, but big game, huge game Tuesday night, yo. Kentucky is coming to the PMAC. Um, you know, we got to have that one. We got to have that one, um, you know, to get a good quality win on the resume and, you know, to still have a, a puncher's chance at an SEC title. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yo, I'm going to have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. 3 p.m. Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Uh, y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. I'll tell you then, yo. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.